trying not to trip on this low step here. After coming through that, I'm only five foot seven. I don't have a problem with that. Still trying to get that light to come on, and I can't seem to do it. Oh, striker plate missing. Air gaps. But this is plumbing. Okay. The niches are level. I didn't measure this one. I can look at it and tell. But I put a level on the ones in the primary bedroom, bathroom, shower enclosure, and they're level. They're supposed to be a pitch on your niche so that the water rolls off of it. Hot and cold are reversed here. And this shower head does not divert 100%. Everything that goes down, goes down. Hi, Kimmy. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right. It's pretty boring in here, except that. Okay, we have a little tempering valve right there for this sink. But it's, it's an isolated one. It's not for the whole plumbing system. And we're missing our escutcheon plate from the plumbing that's coming through there. The plumbing is not properly supported in the crawl space. The plumbing is not properly insulated in the crawl space. <clears throat> this is the primary bedroom. Too high window. Alright. Who knows where these fans vent to? They do not vent to the exterior. Come on. Okay, this shower right there not enough pitch in the niche all right watch the flow pretty good flow huh that's what we want flow is important let's try this one it just doesn't have much flow and I've been playing with him. I thought maybe I was running too many faucets or something. You're supposed to run several at a time, at once, to determine. I don't have to run several. That guy is just, he doesn't have much flow. Again, all the commodes are fine. Everything that goes down is supposed to go down. Again, hot's on the left, cold's on the right. The GFCI works. The plumbing underneath here is boring. Okay. Boring. <coughs> Moving on along. I'll close that before. And, you know, I guess I could have done this all at once instead of doing a separate video, but the water shutoff valve is right underneath where it says water shutoff valve. There's a valve right underneath there. That would have been smarter to do it that way. Moving on along. The laundry. Not labeled. Not GSCI, not GSCI, and drain's not hooked up. Okay. This is the half bath, the powder room, the guest bathroom. And again, uh, oh, on this one, on the drain line, it does not have an discussion plate. Code's fine, like I said, everything. Hi, Timmy. GFCI works. Fan works. I just do not know where they're below to. <clears throat> this island does not have an electric receptacle outlet. Alright. It doesn't have any appliances. And it doesn't have any plumbing. But if this was a wall, where the walls have been removed, if this was a wall, it would have to have a GFCI. And then, hello, this dishwasher door, is it supposed to open when it's through? Because this is the second time I've caught it open. I thought it was an operator error. Maybe I would have opened it. Yeah, I don't know. So, then we're, our sink is backing up. 
Yeah, the oven is. The sink backed up when, oh, because I ran it. It did not back up. I'm sorry. I get a little carried away. That's what I do. I'm enthusiastic, rascal. Then underneath here, the anti-siphon loop. You do not have a proper anti-siphon loop for the dishwasher. Okay. And the dishwasher and the food waste disposal. Well, we don't have a food waste disposal. Nor do we have a lawn sprinkler system. So the dishwasher is not GFCI protected. Now, it wasn't required to be GFCI protected when the home was built. Oh my gosh, there's stuff in here. Oh my God, is that what's happening? Yeah. Well, look at there. We'll close the door. We'll have a fire. Don't give it air. Okay. Well, I have to look. I have to go online and get you some manuals. This door keeps popping open. This door keeps popping open. It's not GFCI again. When this home was built, GFCI was not required sure. for the dishwasher, but this is called remodeling. If the dishwasher breaks, all you have to do is fix it, mm -hmm. just like that. If the dishwasher is replaced, the dishwasher is to be replaced to code. So the kitchen is not required to have GFCI on an older home, so all the dishwasher has to be is replaced as code. When you remodel the dishwasher, for that matter, when you remodel the entire home, mm -hmm. when you remodel the kitchen, then the kitchen should have been brought up to current standards. So at that point, when this kitchen was remodeled, GFCI was required. Now what we have over here is they came in here and they added all this nice splash block. It looks really nice, okay? Mm -hmm. Really attractive, I like it. But it comes out farther than the box, the outlet box. So we have a gap right here. Okay, that's a fire hazard. They sell these things called extenders. I had a code inspector called it a suppressor ring. Sounded like he knew what he was talking about. And then a lot of people in the field call them goof rings. But call it what you will, you put this little plastic thing in here. It cost about two dollars. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, for you know, less than twenty dollars. You're not going to get away with ten dollars. They're going to charge you sales tax and stuff. That's how they get you. But for, you know, for about twenty dollars it could have been done right. Let's turn this VIP fan on. It's not going to do us a lot of good. I mean, it will do us a little bit of good, but it's going to come right out here. This is a circulating VIP fan, and it does not go out through the attic. We have these little vents on the side. So this little plant right here, he's going to get a lot of carbon, you know, monoxide, dioxide, and stuff that's going to help him. We're still going. Woo-wee! All right. Thank you, realtor lady. Woman, excuse me. All right. All the burners work. Obviously, the oven works. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Um, now, right now, here's another thing for the kitchen. Kitchens are supposed to have a minimum of two electric circuits, and for the receptacles. And this kitchen only has one. Now, if you count the refrigerator nook, or you count this nook over here. I mean, is that technically in the kitchen? You might be able to stretch it a little bit and say that you have two circuits in the kitchen. But most kitchens, you're going to have two circuits in the kitchen, two separate countertop circuits. For example, you would have one here and then one for the island, which you don't have an electric receptacle island on the island. So that's so what we go. I thought that was a new oven smell. But no, that was an Inspector Fupa. The interesting thing that we did find in here, just open it up, I can't return to the scene of the crime. Uh, there's the anti-tip device, because this oven does not have an anti-tip device installed. They put it in there for me to cook. Now it's sterilized. Now it can be installed.